very important issue that I want to talk about, and um, hopefully um, we'll make you think a little bit. You know, it's just, how many of you went Rainbow DP recently? Yeah, Rainbow DP. <laughs> how many of you went Rainbow DP? Came in, woohoo! How many of you of those Rainbow DP people are open-minded, gorgeous, sensitive, intelligent people who are open-minded? Give me a woohoo! <laughs> the others are basically heterosexual married couples. <laughs> who are like, fuck you, marriage, now come! Welcome to marriage, real pain in the ass is now only our life. We'll begin right now. But seriously, I mean, I really believe India is open for this uh, Article 377 to be scrapped. Yeah. India is really open, because India is a really open society. In fact, homosexuality is ingrained in our culture, yeah? But in India, all of us, look at all, like all the men in the audience, when you were little children itself, what were you brought up by your own mother? What did she tell you right from the time you were a child, a child baby, you were, what did she say? Don't mingle with girls. <laughs> no? Is the inherent dichotomy right there? My woman, the mother who's a woman is actually saying, don't interact with my own kind. It's like Rahul Gandhi finally confessing, thanks for not choosing our hand, use your own. <laughs> I mean, go tell your mom, mommy, mommy, I'm doing combined study today with Yvo Yaruda, with Charan and Bhargav Ma. Oh, very good. Lalla Padi, here's a cup of Horlicks also. Take it along and go. <laughs> Same thing, you say, Amma, Amma, keep a horlick study. I'm doing Hambai study today with you, with Charanya and Bhargavi. Adi Sarif Pala. <laughs> Why, Macha? Why, with Charanya and Bhargavi, only combined study means combined study, huh? With Charanya and Bhargavi, combined study becomes uh, uh, societal code word for karma sambandhi. <laughs> what shit? If at all anybody, uh, combined study means anything else except combined study is with Charanya and Bhargav, who are combining study not how to correct Sat or GMAT, but how to correct Charanya and Bhargavi. <laughs> <laughs> Wanting to roam, uh, roaming Nanga with boys is called adolescence, huh? Wanting to roam Nanga with girls is called puberty. <laughs> adolescence sounds like a profound stage in life everybody should go through. Puberty sounds like hair in the balls. <laughs> and later on in life, when you go to our parents and say, um, uh, I've got a girl along, teach me how to have sex. <laughs> One of two things will happen. One is they will belt with pew and you will lashings all over. Or something worse will happen. They will explain it to you. <laughs> Even the belt lashings may disappear, Macha Mada. The lashings... The scars left behind by sexual education by your own dad will never go for life. Daddy's explaining heterosexual sex is like Modi explaining a Achaydin. You know it's supposed to happen. You know you're supposed to look forward to it. You just don't know who it will be Achay for. <laughs> After that in society, when you go to engineering college also, like the Vaga border separates India with Pakistan, no? Or the Vindya separates North India from South India. Even boys and girls are separated in engineering college by, by a fortified line with chains and nails. I call it the JPR line. <laughs> separate, separate, separate bastards. I mean, look at Indian cinema also, yeah? Look at Indian cinema. As soon as the boy and girl enter into the script, what happens? Immediately they don't get along, no? They'll immediately fight with each other. Later on, when they get along, you say, sparks fly. What is sparks fly? Sparks fly when two abrasive substances which have different coefficients of friction operate against one another, leading to irreparable material loss. Even when a buswanam sparks fly, what is left of the buswanam is ash and char mata. In a vain effort to reach the vanam, it went bus pao. <laughs> Later on in the movie, when they get along also, they'll immediately cut to song, which is societal code word of saying, in your dreams, macha. <laughs> Indian cinema has never shown heterosexual sex. Never, ever. I mean, Rupatera, Mastana, boy is ready, girl is ready, everything is ready. Immediately, flowers will be banging against each other. <laughs> Which is actually progressive subtext for homosexuality, if you think about it. Because how much ever two flowers may bang against each other, without a bee being involved, no pollination can happen. No. <laughs> We've opened up that time itself. Yeah. The only heterosexual sex we Indians have seen is Indian porn. <laughs> Where the woman is not consenting, she's in coma. <laughs> I'm not a part of this. Say to me the check at the end. I'm really telling you, India is open for homosexuality. I mean, any sex in India is good sex, yeah. I mean, engineers will all clap right now. Give them a big hand. No, actually, don't. They already give themselves a big hand anyways. <laughs> but any sex is good sex, yeah. Come on, any sex is good sex except bisexual sex. I mean, that's just greedy and over horny, no? I want this, I want this, I want this. Hey, half of us are not getting anything. <laughs> Bisexual sex is like Mukesh Amani sex, where he not only wants to have sex with his wife, but wants to fuck with an entire nation also. 
any sex is good sex, especially homosexual sex. Yeah, because the best kind of sex in India is homosexual sex because it leads to no post-production. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's not condemn it, let's just condom it.